nails done because we didn't want to be oh, rushed. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is on HDTV. I, I don't think so, but. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Online it is HD, so. Oh my gosh. What I that? know, right? So I didn't get my nails done. All right. Well, yours look good. All right. So we're basically already started the show. So. Oh. Okay. We'll keep that in there. Of our nails. <laughs> in HD. So welcome to the show, well, Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We're glad to have you guys on. Uh, introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Becky Davenport. I'm the Executive Director of Bloom. Awesome. And I am Pamela Talley Coney, and I am the Program Director with Bloom. Awesome. And we'll learn more about Bloom in just a little bit. That's what this show is all about. Uh, they're doing great things, starting great things in Douglas County. Uh, we actually attended a ribbon cutting for them at the Chamber of Commerce and uh, it seemed like everybody was excited to get started doing their thing. And like I said, we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. But first, these guys, they've watched the show. Yes. They watch the show online and they know what, what the deal is. But in case you haven't watched, what we do is we do not tell them what we're cooking. So we've got our ingredients under what we call the beach towel of deception. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. And they, they've been trying to guess what we're cooking. They know we kind of play off the theme of, of the, the name of the organization. So they've been trying to guess. But so far, they haven't. All right. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, we are ready. ready. We're excited. All right. Here we go. Here are the ingredients. Yay! Oh, it it's so ice cream. great. That's ice cream and peaches good. and strawberries. Okay. Yummy. Mm. You did well. Is Thanks. it <laughs> okay? We were thinking it's definitely not the blooming onion. No, that was no. like our first. Mm -mm. Yeah, that would have been too obvious. But look at that! Oh my goodness! Is that? Hold on, I'm gonna put on my glasses. <laughs> Sparkling, Sparkling grape juice, yep. some type of salad and yep. sherbet. Salad, yes, you got the salad. So one one is salad, uh, and then the Ooh, other geez. one is a peach crisp Ooh. Okay. and we also have a drink we're gonna do a drink okay now bloom bloom our youth you guys mm -hmm. uh, we play off the bloom flowers we're doing edible flowers oh that's yeah. gonna be great yep so awesome. what we're doing I have uh, <laughs> some more ingredients under here oh, my goodness <laughs> okay we're not putting those flowers in there. back here, the, we are. We're concerned about we are. how this works. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. This is hibiscus. Okay. The flower is actually closed right now because mm -hmm. it needs sun to open up. Mm -hmm. uh, but the hibiscus petals will go in our sparkling grape juice. Okay. It can also go in champagne. It's used to flavor champagne. Okay, who knew? We also have lavender right here. Okay. The lavender will go into our peach crisp. And then right here we have impatience. They're going to go in our salad. You would be surprised. You're kidding. You would be surprised how many <laughs> flowers are edible and you can put in salads. Well, that, I've got those on my front porch and that is, I can go out there and eat them. How yep. many calories are <laughs> yep. in impatience? I would have never known that you can eat impatience. Yep. I thought it was poison. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I made sure I looked it up on the internet. It's is safe. it organic or? <laughs> oh, absolutely. They're fresh off the lot. Okay. Wherever they got them from. So we'll wash them, make sure they're good. And uh, so we have edible flowers. Again, we have, <laughs> we have, the dogs are going crazy. They're ready to start the show. <laughs> they are. So when we come back, we will start the uh, peach crisp. Right before we do the peach crisp, we'll get our drinks ready. Okay. Are y'all like ready? ready? Yes. Yes. We're ready. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a drink. Okay. Oh, good. I need one. You should need a drink. <laughs> it's been a rough morning. It has. It's been it's a rough already. morning. All right. So we're, we're kind of dipping our toes into the eating flowers situation here. All right. Uh, and we're just going to drink the flowers. So what we're going to do is I've got us three glasses. You wash that, right? I am going to wash it. Well, I'm going to send you over okay. there to wash it right sure. now. So we're going to sanitize the uh, flower. Uh, the petals from a lot of flowers are used to uh, season or flavor. 
rose yeah. petals, very popular mm -hmm. for seasoning, flavoring. Uh, I've had rose tea. Rose tea is amazing. If you ever get a chance to try rose tea, I think it's I've amazing. Heard, heard of that before. Yeah, so these are same idea. We've got some uh, hibiscus petals. Pulling these off here, and uh, we'll do the equivalent of maybe one petal per glass. That way we're not going over the top. Do you eat the little, what is that? The I, I think that's called the stamen, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't, I'm, look... I'm not going for that. I, I yeah, know. We won't new, do new, that. new. That might be the good stuff. It might be, but we won't figure that out today. <laughs> All right, so one for that glass. One for that glass, and here's a nice one for that glass. All right, and we've got the uh, the sparkling uh, grape juice over there next to you. If you want to pour some in there, we'll put you in charge of that. Let me know when. Let's go about halfway up. That'll be good. About there. That that works. So just it's early. We don't want to go too far. <laughs> Does that sort of need to marinate or we're just gonna? We're just gonna go for it. Okay. I've had this like maybe in a bathtub, hibiscus, but never. Hey, if it's good for the outside, it's good for the inside. You think. <laughs> All right, y'all gonna make me do it first just in case? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be there. All right, here we go. That tastes just like sparkling grape juice. <laughs> Yeah. Does it, have to, it doesn't have to marinate. I don't think it does. We can drink this as we're cooking. You know, this would be a nice okay. little drink. And it, it looks pretty too. Okay. It'd be nice to have an edible flower that you can have a whole one just sitting right there in the middle too. That might be a good idea. Just making sure nothing happens to you. Before You're going to give me some time. <laughs> going to give me some time. Make sure. Right. Two drinks. And I'm still standing. All right. All right. All right it hands. must be good. This to being on a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> yep, checking off the bucket list. There we go. Cheers. I don't taste the thing. No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's very good. It's, a, you Me know, too. right oh, now, I guess little. it's being used like a garnish. Yeah. But uh, maybe it'll change as we go through the show. Maybe if you put a lot in there, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. I can smell it. it. Smells very good. But it is, uh, it is pretty. It makes, uh, makes it look nice and pretty. Very pretty. All and right, so we can life. jump right into the first uh, actual food recipe. So what we're gonna do? Have you ever cut open a peach? Yes. Either one of you. Yes, but I don't yes. know if I did it correctly. Well, the way I've been taught is you just take it right here at the pit and go all the way around until you meet up with your. Uh, original slice and twist huh. and then you can cut out the uh, the pit so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys do that um, and then we're just gonna make little slices thin slices like this all the way through so just make all of them look about like that okay. Okay. no pressure no pressure. I think the pressure is going to be getting the peach pit out yeah. without cutting my finger off. Well, you just do your best. I will do my best. We've got band-aids. Okay. Perfect. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I've done this a few times. I did cut the tip when I was um, 17. I worked at Taco Bell and I uh -huh. cut the. I was chopping up tomatoes and mm -hmm. I cut the tip of my finger off. That, that was, oh, I yeah. have done that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I we're not going to do that today. No, no. I did it on New Year's Day, cutting dill, and it was Twist. fun. Twisted, yeah. Oh, and it helps. Twisted. It helps a whole lot if if the uh, the peaches are ripe, mm -hmm. and I tried to pick the most ripe peaches. This is not the optimal time of the year to be doing this, but because uh, we're filming in May. I'm not doing a good job getting this out. Just cut around it, and you can dig some of the pulp out if you need to. Yes, you got it. Boom. You'll be able to add this to your you resume. Are an expert, I'm over here struggling. Yeah, she's You're really ready. she's <laughs> killing it Get over here. Get your speed here. up here. You're messing gonna... up. <laughs> and I, I do want to mention we want to use uh, as little of 
the stickers that are on the peaches oh. as well. So <laughs> just I make got sure I, oh, the yeah. one I, there's one <laughs> sticker yeah. right there. Oh, no. But it's fine. It's fiber. Okay. It's fine. I mean, yes. we're, we're eating flowers over here. I so. mean, heck, flower, I mean, grocery store stickers. It's what? paper. Paper is right. made from trees. Yeah, this one trees is. Trees are in the Some forest. Some of them are really juicy. Organic tags from Kroger. So as you guys finish up, we can kind of layer that here in the bottom of my uh, skillet. This not I'm going to hit the uh, oven, put it on 400, so it's heating up. We've got a nice uh, topping that's going to go on top of here to make it the crisp. Does it have flour in it? It does. Okay, flour. Well then. Bloom. And we're good. It's like we have a theme. We do. I see, I see a theme developing here. <laughs> okay, so just put yeah. it on the bottom. However you guys want to layer those. Okay. I don't know how to make this look pretty. Nah. It's going to be covered up with the Yeah, we're going to cover it. Ooh, I don't, oh, I got a hibiscus in there. I guess Ooh. that's not part of the <laughs> well, recipe. You know, it looks the same color as the peaches. It does. Maybe we should throw that in there and Why see not? what it tastes like. Something's wrong with that one right there. I don't know where we need to. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just put them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put the smushy one in first. All the pretty ones can be on top. Yeah. This is gonna be so good. We're starting with dessert. That's the best way. Of, I mean. And the best way is to eat the dessert first and yes. then have your dinner. You have never know what's gonna happen. Between, exactly. You know. Plus, you might get full if you eat the you know the meal first and wait for dessert. You might be full. And then the so best you part gotta, you wouldn't want to eat. So. Got to eat the dessert first. And this is our breakfast, basically. That's true. That looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. Replace it with a bowl. I can take that. Okay. Perfect. And now we're gonna make the topping. So, in this bowl, or actually, before we mess with the bowl, we need to do <coughs> two, uh, let's see, tablespoons of brown sugar sprinkled over the top of those peaches. Okay. So you guys can use some teamwork there. <laughs> I like to put a little extra sugar Hey, on. I am not <laughs> against that. You may, yeah, may want to do it with fingers because brown sugar will stick together. Yeah. Yes. Brown sugar and peaches, oh, you cannot go wrong. We do a recipe, we've done a recipe, I, we may have done it on this show, where you take a peach, you do exactly what you just did, where you take the pit out, and then you scoop out just a little bit of the flesh, hmm. fill it with butter and brown sugar, wrap it in aluminum foil and put it on the grill. Oh, wow. It is amazing. amazing. Perfect summer uh, dessert. Uh, so now what we want to do is in here we want to do a quarter cup of flour. And here's our quarter cup. Not knock over the ingredients. Yeah. Gonna we're also going to do, <laughs> we're going to do two more uh, tablespoons of the brown sugar in there as well. Okay. Okay. So if you want to handle the brown sugar, two of these, and then right. we're also going to do a quarter cup of cinnamon. Yep, that's the one. Did I say a quarter cup? You mean this. A quarter <laughs> teaspoon. Like, that that would be a lot a of cinnamon. Much. Overkill. All right, I'm gonna get a knife for the butter. We've got room temperature butter over there. We need to do two okay. tablespoons. So chop the two tablespoons or slice it into smaller pieces. That way it's easy, easier to incorporate. Chop them? Yeah, chop them up. Like that? Yes. 
right. perfect. You yeah, know what so you're doing. Good with cutting, Becky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't <laughs> really cook anymore. <laughs> okay. Lots of experience chopping. We need a half a cup of the granola. And just a pinch of the salt. This is the salt right here. Okay. Now I, I wouldn't have thought spoon. of putting granola as the yeah the base. That's it's pretty. It's good. And then we can mix that up. So how long do I have to do this? About forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> JK, uh, just a little longer, longer, okay. long enough for me to take a couple drinks. Okay. You need to put something else besides grape juice in your hibiscus. Yeah, we might sneak that in between the uh, See if recipes. It tastes you wanna... yeah. Does it taste hibiscusy? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm really that chopping looks this. good. It looks okay. good. Yeah, I think we're good. Blend it. Good. You wanna? So good. we're gonna pour that over the top. Try to get it as even as possible. Oh, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I would never have thought of cooking it in an, a cast iron skillet like that. That's, yeah, it just adds something. I don't know what it is. It just kicks you know, it up a little bit. My <clears throat> mom taught me when I was eight to make cornbread, mm -hmm. and she said everything that you bake tastes better in a cast iron skillet. Yeah, especially cornbread. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't do it any other way. Isn't that pretty good? Oh yeah, Hi, that looks Bob. fantastic. We're almost up to 400, so we're ready to put this in the oven in just a second. Now the lavender that goes in this recipe would be used as a garnish. When this comes out, we're putting vanilla ice cream on the top, garnishing Ooh, with lavender. So good. Oh that my goodness, I can't wait. So I'm going to get this in the oven. See, I'm just, I'm, I'm drooling. I'm I ready. I too. I mean, it, it's going to be so good. This is going to go in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. We'll check on it. While it is cooking, we're going to do the salad recipe, uh, and we're going to talk about blending. Awesome. We'll be right back. It's time to make the salad. That'll give us time to talk about you guys. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is slice up some strawberries, because this is a very fresh, fruity salad. Um, it's amazing, perfect for spring and summer. All right, so while I do that, why don't you guys tell me about Bloom? What do you do, and what do you do specifically for the organization, each one of you? Okay, can we start? Sure. Okay, we are a private nonprofit organization which we provide safe shelter and physical, educational, and emotional support to children who've been the victims of abuse, neglect, or other tragic circumstances in order to strengthen them for the next phase of life. And to do that, we have three programs. We have our Bloom Foster Care Program where we go out into the community, we recruit train, support, and oversee families who take in children. We um, see basic level foster children as well as medically fragile foster children, mm -hmm. foster children with significant therapeutic and emotional issues, and pregnant or parenting foster teen girls. <clears throat> we also have a program called Bloom University, which we provide regular monthly classes to equip our foster families um, with the tools they need to parent traumatized children. And then our third program is called the Bloom Closet. The Bloom Closet was started about 10 years ago. It was at, started up as an afterthought in our office condo basement. Mm -hmm. And basically everything, <clears throat> we've since moved to a new building and it's set up like a store. It, you'd never know that most of the things that were in there are gently used, but we give away free things to foster kids. Um, Clothing, books, books, school supplies, um, baby gear, mm -hmm. diapers, just anything that a child can use is in the bloom closet. Um, and so kids make an appointment, they come there, they shop, 
they get everything that they need. So often foster children come into care with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Mm -hmm. So the Bloom Closet, not only does it provide a great resource for foster families and the children, but it also lets those children know that they're among people who care about them, that they're safe. Right. Um, we give them a lot of extra special attention and TLC when they're with us. Um, and a lot of times, like the teen girls will come in, they're like, oh, I don't want to be here. But by the time they leave, they've got a smile on their face and they're feeling pretty good. That's awesome. <clears throat> and so last year at the Bloom Closet, we saw 3,000 foster children from 90 Georgia counties. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And, um, and in our foster care program, we were named um, the most outstanding foster care agency in the state of Georgia. All so right. We're really mm -hmm. proud of that. And I attribute much of that to our foster care program director, Pam Tallyconey. She's an amazing leader of that program. So maybe you talk about the foster care program? Right now, our foster care program, we have cared for since July of 2015. We've cared for over 100 children in our program. Uh -huh. With our program right now, many people may not realize, but there are over 15,000 foster children in care in the state of Georgia. Wow. So our program is very important in, in being able to go out and find wonderful, lovely, open-hearted people to care for all of these children. Mm -hmm. So we are very fortunate right now to have over 36 foster families in our Fayetteville office, and we're caring for currently 54 children in our program. Mm -hmm. But there, I couldn't say that that's enough. There are yeah. so many other kids out there who need loving families and our team of people, that's what we do. We try to go out and find these people, provide mm -hmm. them with support. They will have um, case managers with our program who will walk them through every step of the way and mm -hmm. being able to support the children while they're working on being able to be reunified with their actual birth families. Okay. We also have a foster to adopt component to our program because sometimes the kids are unable to go home. Right. Sometimes the circumstances are just so dire that the family is not able to kind of overcome like right. substance abuse issues or you know just lack of resources and mm -hmm. they need a permanent resource through foster care which ends up being an adoptive placement as mm -hmm. well so we offer a continuum of care for our foster children when we hope that they go home but sometimes like I said that's just not the yeah. case so we want to support people who are able to support the foster children mm -hmm. so unfortunately you know sometimes <laughs> there isn't the happy ending you look for using the foster families going back to the family so you have to have a backup plan mm -hmm. yeah. and we've asked actually we've ab been able to have probably about nine children be adopted mm -hmm. while they've been with us so we're able to provide that continuum of love and support throughout their lifetime so we're very happy to be a part of that good because so many times people see foster care as so negative right but the people who are willing to open their homes and their hearts to the children, they are really good people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's important for people to understand. These aren't just, like we screen our foster mm -hmm. parents. They go through extensive training. Right. They're supported. We monitor them. We're not just placing children in strangers' right. homes right. and they're just kind of worse off than they were when they entered care. That is not the case. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people unfortunately believe that. Yeah, yeah. It's Sometimes it has a negative connotation, mm -hmm. people doing it for nefarious reasons uh, but <clears throat> yeah I think it's important to do what you guys are doing which is find the right families yeah, to be in the program. That's really important to us that 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 we find those families that are loving that mm -hmm. you know we're very careful about who we license into our program mm -hmm. and then our case managers will go out there regularly to visit the children to mm -hmm. talk to them there there are regular visitations and um, communication with the foster families and and we have a, a lot of I think very creative supports for our foster families we mm -hmm. have a Christmas uh, party in the around December where all it is so much fun all of the kids the families our board members um, we come mm -hmm. we have a great time we've got a spring foster family appreciation event we every time a new child is placed into our program the foster family gets a casserole awesome. can't beat that yeah. um, just little things like that mm -hmm. that really celebrates the work right. of our families because um, it's it takes a great sacrifice it does. To, to foster and there's not many people who are can or will right. make that commitment right. so right. We, we're really we're in awe of our foster parents yeah. that's a huge yeah, commitment. we do try to make sure that the children feel loved and mm -hmm. that they don't see us as just 
people coming in to right. check on them. We really treat them like they're our own children. That's awesome. And we offer support and advice and we advocate. We attend um, all their graduations, any school functions, any mm -hmm. community functions that they may be a part of. We are like extended right. family to them. That's cool. So you guys, we went to the ribbon cutting. You're expanding. Is this an expansion into Douglas County or are you already here? Well, there is currently, um, for lack of a better word, a foster care crisis in Douglas County mm -hmm. where they have about 226 children currently in care, but unfortunately, they're not able to keep those children actually placed within Douglas right. County, so they reached out to Bloom okay. to come into the community to help to recruit foster families in Douglas County so okay. that the children would be able to maintain right. their connections. Stay here. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we are looking to expand our services out in this area because there's a great need mm -hmm. for um, the children in Douglas County because if you could imagine what it's like to just be outside of your comfort zone, not only are you in care, but now you're in a whole other community and you've right. lost all your connections and right. that just adds to the trauma that the children yeah. face, so we want to be able to keep them in the county. That's great. And expansion means money, costs a little bit more, I'm sure. How are you guys funded? We have a variety of funding sources. It's a continuous effort, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, we get funding from United Way, um, businesses, civic groups. Um, we have a variety of foundational support um, grant sources. Mm -hmm. We have three special, major special event fundraisers every year. We have our Bloom Ball in the spring. That's always great fun. And then coming up, we have our Frocks and Rocks fashion show, which is the last Sunday in August, and that um, raises money to run, to operate the Bloom Closet. Okay. And, and then we have another fundraiser that's in all of the Fayette County elementary schools called PB and Jammies. Nice. So our team is always <laughs> busy trying yeah. to raise money, just as every nonprofit. Um, but we do appreciate uh, the support of the community and what we do, and it's so important to these kids that we're able to connect them with families and resources in the community that will help them go on to achieve the life that they were intended to achieve mm -hmm. and achieve their personal best. Well, we hope we've inspired some people to either donate or become foster families. Mm -hmm. If they need more information, where can they go? They can go to our website at www.bloomourouth.com. Y-O-U-T-H.org. Okay. Um, and another thing, we are all we are in great need of gently used children's clothing. Okay. Um, so that's something that's really easy. Most people will clean out their children's closet mm -hmm. on a hopefully annual basis or yeah. semi annual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so we will actually put those clothes into the hands of children who really truly right. need it. So right. just putting that out there. That's a fantastic idea. So even if you don't have the cash to give, even if you aren't opening your home up to be a foster family, you can donate these gently used clothing items to Bloom and uh, they can find out all that information on the website. I just want to add one more sure. thing. We're also always in need of people who, even though foster care, being a foster parent may not be something that is up your alley. Mm -hmm. We also need respite foster parents, meaning that you just do it sometimes. Okay. If the foster parent is traveling out of town or if they've uh, had an emergency, because right. we realize that the full-time commitment may not be for everyone, but if mm -hmm. you still have a passion for working with children and you want to help, we are always in need of respite foster parents as well. That's cool. So it's kind of like getting your toes wet yeah, into exactly. the fostering <laughs> situation. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. great. That's great. So again, if you want to check them out, go on to their website and uh, you can see where to donate, what to donate, and please get involved. Now, uh, we'll give you that website again at the end of the show, but right now we need to put this salad together. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys do that so we can start with the greens. Uh, just throw a handful in there, how much ever you want to put in, into the bowl. Greens are good, so I'm going to put a hefty amount in here. Yes. All right, so we got our greens in. Let's uh, let's add some strawberries on top of there. Okay. Looks so pretty yes. and colorful. Yes, and those impatiens are good. Yeah. <laughs> make it look so colorful. So while she's doing this, do you want to pick some of those impatiens off of there, and you can rinse sure. them? Sure. I'm going to throw some blueberries on top of here. We got a few of those. This is a nice light 
summer spring salad. It looks so pretty. And then we've also got, if you want to add these, this is dried raspberries, oh, dried yum. cranberries, oh, and uh, some uh, some walnuts. I'm going to put a lot of these. Cause yes, I love those. All right. All right. I'm going to turn the oven off. I'm going to check. We got a little bit longer on there. Oh, it's smelling oh, good. Right. Oh my goodness. That Ooh. does smell good. Can Am you I smell that? Am I taking off yes. the petals or putting the whole flower in? That does that smell so good. good. <laughs> Get that smell coming out of there. Am I picking the petals off? Or just no, don't... just put the whole thing on there. We're going to make it look nice and pretty. It looks kind of like Haw a Hawaiian salad. It does. Now that you put those flowers on. I feel like on. I'm decorating the salad. This is pretty. You can uh -oh. use violets, geraniums, roses, chrysanthemum. I mean, there's. So is it just the flowers you can eat, or did you, can you eat like the I whole plant? I don't know about the plant. I <laughs> know the flowers. Do. We're not going to risk it today. No, 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 no. Now they say eat your colors. Like that's a good way to stay healthy. I can yeah, definitely that. say I have not eaten my hot pinks lately. I don't think I've ever. So I haven't either. This is a new one. All right, so the crisp is almost ready. Salad is ready. We got our drinks. We'll add the goat cheese as people want it because goat cheese is not the uh, preferred cheese of everyone. So we sort of use that as a side, but that is definitely one of the ingredients that's gonna go in. So when we come back, we're ready to eat. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, Ooh, that looks delicious. That is that so looks good. Awful. <laughs> Woo. Oh, wow. Man, don't touch that. No, ah. no, no, no. There we go. Well, we've uh, entered the best part of the show here. Time to eat. Yes. Yes, time to eat. So. But, hang on. But, Before we do this, I was telling you, um, my daughter, we were on this diet where everything that we eat, we text each other a uh, picture of it to hold each other accountable. So, I got to take that. Okay, so <laughs> definitely get a picture of the salad. That We're not going to take a picture of that Not taking a picture all. of the crisp yeah. or the ice cream. There we go. She's going to be so proud. She will. <laughs> so she proud. watches the show. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, so if you'll give me your plate, I'll give you some salad on here. Make sure we get a flour. Oh, you have wow. to eat the flour. Let me give you some more of this over here. You can knock that there off your bucket go. list too. I, I ate a flour a today impatient. and appeared on Cooking and Show. Let me get your <laughs> plate here and give you a flour. Thank you. A little more fruit. It looks pretty. There we go. Make sure I get a flour so that I can get whatever disease y'all get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for the salad, we have ranch. We have Vidalia onion salad dressing. I love that. Uh, balsamic and creamy balsamic. So you guys can go ahead and dress your salad, and I will start dishing the peach crisp. I'm try the real. Nice and hot. Which one has the least amount of calories? Probably the balsamic vinaigrette. Uh -huh. Yeah, the vinaigrettes have a little less. Let me scoop you some out here. And are oh we goodness. fans of ice cream on the crisp? Yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. Awesome. Sorry, Garland. <laughs> <laughs> Diet over. Yep. Yeah. That's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Yep, diet anymore. definitely over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you want to start dishing the ice cream, I will grab the lavender. And this is the garnish for the peach crisp. Okay. So. You can take a picture of this and put it in a magazine. Ooh, that smells good. That's, that Here you smells go. so good. I'll give that good. to you. Oh, thank you. You can smell that. Hmm. Give you a little bit of a scoop. All right, I'm gonna. Coming over for my ice cream. Yes. I'm a huge fan of ice cream. Good. Especially okay. on. Uh, I'm gonna take one more picture. Sure. All right. Oh. This is the real. You gotta take the picture of the actual dish. Yeah. I mean, this does look very. Oh, and then the lavender. It's yeah. pretty. There's a picture of yours. There we go. 
You have the prettiest lavender too, so it's it's picture worthy. All right, let me dress my salad. What do you want to taste first? You want to do the salad first? Save Heck the good no. stuff. <laughs> Plus the ice no. cream is gonna melt. Oh, good point. Good <laughs> point. We need that first. All right, so let's go in for the crisp. Okay. Peach crisp. It's gonna be nice and hot. I have put. Mmm. That is the best. Mm. Wow. Not good. So good. Yeah, it's really wow. good. Mmm. And we're eating granola. Yeah. I mean, we're practically living in the woods, eating granola and hugging trees. Hibiscus and <laughs> flowers. Just like hugging trees. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> How, mm. what, what, does, what does that taste like? Does it taste like it smells? It's a little minty. No way. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a you little. You sure this isn't going to kill me? I am almost positive. All right. And you have a big one too. No, they, 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 they actually take a little tiny. They actually That's sell. Not enough. <laughs> look, they actually sell these in the herb section. So it's an herb. That is it's not very minty. It does. See? It doesn't taste like you would think it would. Yeah. Tastes like cleaning supplies. I don't know if we go have to go off the grid, we can go out in the patio <laughs> and So lavender is good. Lavender's on the good list. Lavender's won't kill you. All right, so let's go in for the salad. I'm gonna get a little bit of green. We have to eat the impatient. A little strawberry and a little flour. Oh lord! Mm. Here we go. Did you eat your flour? No, you not yet. She's scared. The flour. She's scared. She doesn't want to be a trailblazer. Fork. No, I'm gonna just take a little. Little petal. Little petal. Alrighty, here we go. The whole petal. Ready? Let him do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I already did it. You did it. I did. I okay. took a tiny little piece. It tastes like lettuce. Mm-hmm. It's very lettuce-y tasting. Doesn't have a strong. Yeah. I don't even really taste it. Yeah. But it's probably got some nutrients that'll help us. Yeah. Do I mean, what? I don't know. Yeah. We first have time ever eating in the dark. something. <laughs> there you go. We'll be, we'll be we'll have superpowers. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, except for maybe hot pink cake Not, frosting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that that counts. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's what they meant. Well, what do you think? Was this a success? I don't think it was. It was It was good. Very good. Awesome. Very healthy. Delicious. We're not done eating, but let's get this out of the way. Again, if they want to contact you guys, what's the best way to do it? Um, they can reach us by phone at 770-460-6652 or on our website at www.bloom. Our O U R Youth Y O U T H dot org dot org. Yes. All right, and we'll also have that up on the screen so you can see it. Write it down. Get involved. You can give them cash. You can be a foster family. You can donate your gently used children's clothing. So please get involved. That's what the show is all about. Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We'll see you next month, and we're gonna finish this food. This is awesome. <laughs>